Hi, this is Scott Sachs in Washington, D.C. Today we'll be discussing securing your home during the listing process. But before we begin, if you're a seller, click on my seller link for a free CMA or information about how we can list your home effectively. If you're a buyer, click on my buyer link for a free buyer consultation and homes for sale in your area. And now, back to our topic. So today I'm at one of my listings uh, for an investor client of mine who is settling tomorrow, um, doing a final walkthrough that I do on all of our vacant properties to make sure everything's copacetic before the actual buyer does their walkthrough prior to settlement to make sure we don't have any surprises. And today we had a surprise. We had two broken windows in the rear of the property uh, from kids throwing rocks through the wind windows, which uh, does happen. So this is the perfect opportunity to discuss how can you secure your property against these sort of uh, things from happening. Number one, anytime you're listing a property, particularly if it's vacant, you wanna make sure you have tracking mechanisms in place to track everybody in and out of the property, particularly the agents and who their clients are. We have two uh, sources that we use. We use a central lock system card reader that timestamps everybody in and out. And we also use CSS, which is centralized showing service. Beyond that, here are some of the things that you can do to actually secure the property. Number one, easy one, get an alarm system, whether it's ADT, Brinks, etc. Many offer wireless hardware setup systems that are easy to install these days with a very low maintenance fee. You can still find, without going through an ADT or Brinks, systems sold at um, Home Depot and various places that are one-off or two-zone two systems where they're just wireless battery operated systems that at least put off some sort of noise deterrent for people. And that's also a great uh, option if you are cost conscious. I think they might run 40 or $50 um, and does give you that next level of security. The third way would be one of the items we have in this property is on these windows, which you can't see very well. It says secured by ADT with a number on it. These are on all of the windows throughout the house to create an additional level of deterrent for any potential vandals who might be looking in the windows or something like that. Uh, number four, Add floodlights to the property, motion detected floodlights in the front and the rear of the property to make sure that if you do have somebody walking around, it's going to light up the area and it's going to provide some cover. That's what you can do. Be diligent. Number one, inform your neighbors that the property is going to be vacant. Sometimes people know you're putting your property on the market, but they have no idea. No one's living there or you don't have a cousin in town or whatever it is. Let them know that, hey, this property is going to be vacant. Can you just keep an eye on things if you see somebody walking around or someone there that shouldn't be, etc.? cetera? Uh, the other thing you can do is, as an agent, I make it a point to stop by every property, whether it's vacant or not, but particularly those vacant properties, because you never know if you're going to have situations like this that you have to act very quickly in order to remediate, or there's a broken pipe, or there's an electrical issue, or whatever the case may be. If you're not thinking about these things in advance, they will happen. They always, they, <laughs> this is the real estate business. They are bound to happen. So you just have to be working with someone who is prepared uh, and has the systems in place to deal with these things as they come up. So hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, contact me and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.